Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at a cool new feature we've been working on in Turbo 360, where we can produce recommendations for resources where you can schedule turning them off and on and right-sizing them. Um, and the idea here is that um, we have a feature where a user can build an automation to say, turn a VM off at 8, 8, 8 p.m., turn it back on at 8 a.m., or scale it up and scale it down. But you might have quite a lot of resources that you might not realize you could schedule them. So we're trying to go beyond just creating the ability to create the schedule, but to try and identify resources that you could add to a schedule. So let's have a look at what this feature looks like. So over here in Turbo 360, um, the first thing to note is on the tree view over on the left hand side over here, um, you can create schedules within any of the nodes on the tree. So if you imagine, you might have different nodes for different teams. I've got one for my Document 360 team over here. And the area we're going to look at is the Optimization tab. So over here in the Optimization tab, we have the Schedule section up on the top here. And we're going to look at this View Recommendations button, which is the new thing we've added where I've got a few recommendations I can explore. So here's a list of all the recommendations in this team. And you can see here we've got um, a list of resources. So we've got some things like VMs, app services, VM scale sets. And then over on the right-hand side here, we've got an indication of the recommendation types of one of the resources has a potential upgrade, upgrade, downgrade. One of them has a start and stop. And you can see here we've got um, recommendations of the number of hours up and down that resource could have. So you can see we've got quite a few recommendations that I can work through. And how I would start evaluating these is um, I basically click on it. So if we take this uh, this VM here, now what I can see on the screen is I've got some times where it looks like this this resource could be scheduled. So what we're seeing here is red means, um, I think in this case it's a turn off, turn on recommendation. So we could turn it off on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. And we could just keep checking it's off. We can have recommendations that say turn it on on Wednesday morning. And then the skip recommendations are saying times where we can just leave it. It's, it's not really needing to change much. Now, the idea is that um, in these recommendations, you might look at some resources and say, Actually, this one's absolutely fine. I don't want to schedule it. So in this case, I could maybe say ignore the recommendation and move on to the next one. So one of the features we've added with the ignore is I do have the option to ignore always or ignore to a certain date. So I want to kind of maybe with this one, I might say, actually, do you know what? I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's leave it as it is. I might ignore it for six months work through the other recommendations and come back to this one later. If I um, if I decided I wanted to go ahead with the schedule, so I can click the Add to Schedule button, if I had a schedule already set up that matched the profile of this resource, I could then go and um, just add it to the existing profile, but in this case I'm going to put a new one. So then I can now modify the schedule. And what I might say is actually this, um, you know, with this machine, we're really looking at the usage metrics of the of the machine to work out what it's doing. So I might say, actually, do you know what it looks like? It's quite common. This is turned off in the evening. So I might make that modify the schedule slightly here and just make it red all the time at night. And then... In this case, it might be the case that this machine's commonly used on Monday mornings and Wednesday mornings, and then the rest of the time we'll just leave it, and people can just turn it on on demand maybe if they want to. So it may very occasionally get used on Thursdays, but let's just leave it turned off from the Wednesday night, and if somebody needs to turn it on, they can, and that, that's kind of the profile we're getting here. So I would then go and um, you can see I've got the resource available. So we've got the start stop over here. So I can actually change that if I want to. Um, I can also put a comment here to say why I'm setting this schedule up. So I might um, want to leave a little bit of a note for somebody in the support team later on who might come along and look at why we set this up in the first place. 
and then I can go through, choose the information. So if I want to get like an alert when the schedule runs, I can do that. And that really would, at this point, I'd now be going to create my schedule. Now, the next thing we can do as well is, um, in addition to the schedules here, let's say we've got this app service resource where we're going to downgrade, upgrade and downgrade it. Now, one of the options might be that I don't want to make this setup right now. I might want to do it um, on my plan. So what I can do, in addition to the ignore option, I can do things like download all the results as, um, as Excel to go, go and work through them if I want to. Or I can also do a trigger notification. And in this case, I'm going to go and create a DevOps work item. So this will go and create, if I click send here, this will create a work item in my Azure DevOps board over here. So you can see I've got this scheduled recommendation. And then down here, you've got the information about the plan. So you can see you've got the plan, the resource group, etc., the proposed plan. And I can decide that I might go and do that in the next sprint, for example. So I might say, you know, I could allocate this to another team. So I might give this to my infrastructure team or my DevOps person to go and implement this change with um, with some kind of automation. And if you know that you've really got some choices here, this is all about planning when you're going to do the work. So you might just give this to the team, the DevOps team who go and use Turbo 360 to set the schedule up for you or you might give it to an infrastructure team to manage it, but you can really sort of take the recommendation and you can either go to an action now, or you can put it on your plan to take an action later. And I think that's really one of the themes in Turbo 360 is that idea of let's go from recommendation to action it and make sure we get these done. So what I see with the teams here is you'd go through these recommendations. So I've got about 21 in this team, and I might say, actually, these three are fine, so I can just ignore them. Some of them I might go and implement. Some of them I might postpone for later. We get through our recommendations and then we can just keep on top of these as an ongoing thing. Um, we hope this is really useful and it helps users go to the next level instead of having to figure out all the scheduling that they would do themselves. They can get some tips on things that could be scheduled. Thank you for listening to today's video.